Hi everyone, the Lone Wolf here. Welcome back for some more EVE Online. In today's video, I'm continuing my Ishtar experiments in Galente space. As some of you guys pointed out in my previous video, when I returned to using the Guard 2s, that the Ishtar actually had lost its bonus for the Sentry Drones. And that's actually a pretty important bit uh, that uh, explains why uh, the battleship could not be broken in the 4 out of 10 and why it still took a, a really long time to take down the station at the end of the 3 out of 10. So I'm back and in this experiment we are going to try and move straight towards the objectives and use the ogres. Now I am using this here, a sensor booster, so that should, oh no, that's actually just for uh, sensor strength and being able to target a little bit better. Uh, but uh, maybe I should do something about targeting. But yeah, I'm trying to use the augmented ogres here and we will see how they can handle it. The advantage of using ogres would be that uh, the Ishtar itself can of course travel while we take care of the room. And so far all of these have been one shots. That's pretty impressive. So let's uh, activate the microbe drive for one burst as we still have a little bit more to do. The disadvantage, of course, is that these ogres will now have to travel around and can be targeted and potentially destroyed if the enemy has <laughs> enough, enough uh, firepower. But so far, man, look at that. My little fleet of ogres is just uh, flying towards all of these enemies and is just straight up destroying everything that they encounter pretty pretty impressive performance here we're going to now start approaching the traffic control building and we are going to go like this there we go blah 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 just a lot of one shots that was very nice very impressive full f on the traffic control building let's stop the microbe drive does it have a lot of hp and yeah, shields are doing quite quite well Let's go, taken down, that's good. Return to drone bay and let's see if we get lucky on this. Quick MWD. Just a, f a fifth tier overseer effects. But let's move on to room number two. What I do have to choose, of course, is how I'm going to try and move my Ishtar. But this first room, I'm very surprised at how well my augmented uh, ogres have been tracking all of these little targets and how effective this was. So moving on to room number two. Uh, in the final room, I am also a little bit worried that they'll just that the, the full room will target one of my ogres and will blap it. But we will see all part of the experimentations. I think what we'll do here is we'll just go towards the um, the big guy, the cruiser. I'll do a first burst here and then we'll target the first five, send the ogres out. Oh, yeah, and, and now we'll have a little bit of a disadvantage <laughs> as my ogres have to move all over the place in order to get to their respective targets. But all right, let's see if the enemy then decides to uh, engage us. Two misses, that's not a good start. Now they were probably still like micro driving towards full misses on the first volleys and then we get a couple of one shots. That is definitely better. And all right, the rats for now are interested in me. That's interesting. Um, I'm maybe going to send one of my ogres out and see how that performs against the cruiser. Let's do that. As at this point, I'm hoping that the entire room or most of the room would come towards me. No, that's not gonna happen. All right. Let's see what they decide to do here. Couple of ogres heading out. It is pretty nice to have this like tactical overview here and to see how my ogres are just dismantling the enemy forces, choosing their own next targets. And then here we get, oh man, two shots and this guy's shields are gone. That's pretty impressive working on the armor now. Still not the entire room that's attacking me. Let's go. Maybe a couple of lasers or something like that in the high slots could speed things up. And here we go. First augmented ogre is being attacked at this point. Overseer down. And is this still locked or not? I don't want to... I'm going to allow the, the uh, ogres to basically clean up the whole room. Although not all of them 
are targeting me. I guess that those guys are... Normally you should yellow be yellow boxing then. But they are being targeted by my ogres. So I'm going to guess that they're actually attacking the ogres. There we go. That's the yellow box that I was looking for. And now... Okay. Actually, you know what? This is going to work out. Because all of these small guys are actually really fast and are heading towards me. So they should be decently close. Ogres are still going. Tracking quite well. There you go, another one shot. We've got three more on the field. As the turret explodes, and unfortunately they're choosing the same target, so for efficiency's sake you do want to spread them out a little bit. Blap the last few spies, another miss. There we go, one shot. Two misses. Two misses. Alright, come on guys, another one. <laughs> Are they really not tracking this one little spy? Who's probably on an orbit or something? Look at that. That was the limit right there. Too small and on its full orbit. That uh, seemed to be a little bit too much for these ogres to track well. But still, I'm pretty okay with this result. We're, not, we're gonna try and make a good time on this one. So we're not going to salvage the wreck. That's just an ammunition box. Up we go. Room number three. Ogres again. Uh, we'll do the same thing. Head towards the cruiser. Like that. Large comes out. Okay. These things target me straight away. So the ogres gonna do their own thing. And then we just give them more targets. But there's the spawn. Big, big spawn here. So now I do have to be a little bit more careful, I think. If they chase my ogres... <clears throat> Let's put one on the cruiser again. Oh, there we go. Look at that cruiser going straight for one of my augmented ogres. So I'm going to send one out as well. And then I'm going to try and get ahead of them a little bit. My crop drive. Let's head for the refinery headmaster. Again, I'm going to keep an eye on how this one ogre will perform on this. As everything explodes around me. But yeah, half shields. Half shields as well on the first shot. And they're being like tracking disrupted, I think. So this won't be that easy. Look at this guy. Come on. Take him down. I think that'll cut down most of the DPS. Blop. There we go. I think it's up here. Yep. Two of them in heavy shields. Uh, damage so you can see if the entire room decides to go after your drones you do end up in a little bit of trouble so far though they're still tanking which is good just keep one-shotting everything okay they're still doing somewhat all right As the battle comes closer to me, so let's head towards that gate. Actually, let's head above the gates. Yeah, they're, they're doing fine. My ogres will actually tank <laughs> this room. They're starting to regen already. And this is, this is pretty cool as well, right? I don't have to do that much management. They'll just look for their targets. And because these small craft tend to come close to me, um, they're just not that far away from me. Our final recall will be pretty fast. Oh no, now they, now they decide to go for the uh, sentry guns. <laughs> Get your little, your little minions out on the field crushing everything. Should be pretty efficient. And then I'm guessing that this is what you want to do. So at the end of the last room... I was just standing still and so then he uh, the rat the spy had its perfect orbit let's see if we get a little bit better tracking no i'm still full misses on this one finally we get a shot another shot that's a little bit better and that one is down as well and then finally we get a safeguard who seems to be going more in one line and there you go much much better tracking so that's definitely something to keep in mind for this uh, if you want to use the ogres in this way, make sure that you keep moving so that they have an easier time tracking the rats that are close to you as they won't have their perfect orbit and thus that um, 
that angle of attack will always be a little bit of a problem. Now this final room, yeah, if all of this goes after one of my ogres, it will be in trouble. So what I'm going to try and do is actually to draw a little bit of attention by just straight up approaching that uh, stronghold. Although that does cost me a little bit of... Yeah, it's 53. They have to micro drive in anyways. So if I can do this, if I can get close enough, maybe I'll do... Well, no, an orbit at 500. I'm going to start to orbit very quickly on this. So for now, we'll do this. I'll do one more. First bit of aggro is in. And then now we should be fine to uh, launch the augmented. Oh, and I, of course, do have to choose the targets. That's so gonna be the sentry stronghold. Let's go serpentis supply stronghold. Sorry, and there we go. The good thing on on this, it's such a big target that they'll spread around and they'll keep moving very quickly. Um, I should be getting closer and closer to the loot this way. I'm actually gonna go to the right and top a little bit. Oh man, <laughs> already half armor. Yeah, that's definitely a big, big difference compared to the the guards last time. Just look at how quickly my ogres are chewing through this station, and no misses. Two thousand damage <laughs> one of these shots. That's definitely a lot. One of my augmented drones is being massively targeted, but we can do well. We'll do a little bit of an experiment as well. Second part of the room here, um, a little bit more shield damage. Is it military supply container? Let's go. That's done. Ooh, taking a beating here. Come on, ogre. Keep going. Keep just shooting at whatever is... No, look at that. Entire room is on him. Yeah, his shields are down. We're in. Uh, so return to drone bay on you. Oh, this is what I need to go for. Cargo container at 17. So half armor. He should be able to return. More stuff is focused on me. Nope, they're actually going for more of the of my ogres, who are now slowly whittling everything down. We have concentrated them nicely in the middle. A couple of smart bombs <laughs> would be interesting here, I think. Um, and oh man, ah, that's really lucky with the drops right here. Let's return to drone bay. And how long? 12 minutes. That's still pretty long honestly i think the sentry drones did just as well when it comes to uh, the time but uh, all right let's head to aporelli because i want to do a little bit more uh, where's the gate on that there it is and out we go so interesting uh, i think a combination is going to end up being the best uh, combining my sentry drones uh, in in the right situations with the ogres against those uh, targets with, with a lot of HP. But they managed to do it, albeit one of them in pretty serious uh, armor damage, which could have been avoided, right? Just recall the drones right after the stronghold blows up and you will be fine. But yeah, um, way, way more DPS. Just perhaps need to work a little bit on the tracking for them. And then uh, they could become like the real cleanup crew for these exploration sites. I'm going to continue my exploration run, but that's it for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, I'll see you next time.